Hey everyone and welcome to Bodyworks Prime. Today we're going to be going over the origin, insertion and action of the rhomboid major muscle. So here we can see the rhomboid major muscle and superior to the rhomboid major is the rhomboid minor. So the origin of the rhomboid major muscle is on the spinous processes of T2 to T5 of the vertebrae. So T meaning the thoracic vertebrae and the spinous processes are, if you see on the, on the back of each vertebrae, it's got a little part that sticks out. And these little bits that stick out on the back are the spinous processes. So you can see here highlighted in blue the insertion of the rhomboid major muscle and the rhomboid major muscle insertion is going to be just below the root of the spinous scapula. So we've got the spinous scapula here and then we've got the root just at the end of it. Um, just above the root of the spinous scapula is where the rhomboid minor muscle will originate. So this spinous scapula provides us a nice divide um, where we can kind of remember where the insertion of the minor and the major starts. So we're back here again with a scatter model and you can see the origin of the rhomboid major muscle here on T2 to T5 of the spinous processes of the vertebrae. You can see the insertion here on the medial border of the scapula. This is going to mean the fibres of the rhomboid major are going to be running in a diagonal direction, just like this, and that's going to give it two primary actions really. The first one is going to be retraction of the scapula where the scapula moves in a medial direction. I'll show you on myself here. You can see I'm retracting my scapula here. Second action is going to be rotation of the scapula. So that's where the, ro the scapula rotates in this kind of a direction. And that's going to depress the glenoid cavity. So we can see the humerus, head of the humerus right here, head of the humerus sits in the glenoid cavity right there. So essentially, it's going to move the glenoid cavity a little bit lower. So another thing to mention, the rhomboid major is obviously going to work in conjunction with the rhomboid minor, which sits just superior to it. So we've got the rhomboid minor in a superior position here. And the, um, sorry, here. And the rhomboid minor muscle is going to assist in quite similar tasks. Um, I've got a full video on the rhomboid minor muscle, just check out the description box below and that's going to give you all the information which you need about the rhomboid minor. So if you enjoyed the video, you know which buttons to press. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I'll see you next time.